Hey, how you doing? Okay, we're on, I think, video four now of this uh, generic model, okay? And uh, we're going to just work on it a bit further. And I think in this video, maybe we'll get it loaded into the project, uh, give it some material, and go back into the family environment. We'll recategorize it as well. So it's a generic model. I'm going to change it to a, a furniture uh, category. Uh, and we're, maybe we're going to put a, a, that, that router uh, void sweep around the edge, give it a bit more sort of a, a better appearance, and might do some more uh, a calculated parameter parameters maybe in this video as well all right all right so where are we going to start let's just load this into the project first okay and uh i'm going to close it too so load into the project by the way i've already saved this i didn't save it in the last video so it's saved so you'll need to save that so i'm going to load it in the project and place it you can just do that in a plan view. I'm just doing 3D so you can see it better. Okay, I select it. Edit type. And we have three materials set up. So the center panel material, we said was going to be glass, okay? So click our button. And I'll look for glass. Now, I'll have different, some different materials in here than you do because I've added some. Uh, but you'll find a glass material there, I'm sure. Okay. The tabletop material. I have a nice rosewood veneer in there I'm going to use. Again, you won't have that. You can just use different timber. Okay. Okay. And do you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to give the legs a, a kind of a white plasticky sort of veneer. Okay, there we go. Let's have a look at that. All right starting to look like something you might want to do some work on that glass because <laughs> it looks like it's not even there right so we could get a, a glass with a with a bit of a tint in it or a smoky uh, appearance i'm not going to do that now though okay i'm going to go back into the family environment so select that and in the ribbon up here edit family now i mostly just did that so we could look at it in the family environment uh, and for it to be transparent where there's glass and stuff, okay? Okay, I'm going to show you how to recategorize, okay? So again, a lot of the time when we use generic models, uh, it's because we can't think of what category to put it in, or there is no category, or maybe it's just a simpler place to start, actually, uh, a lot of the time. So sometimes when I'm making a furniture family, I might actually start with a generic model, or if I'm making a door or, or a window, a lot of the inserts that I nested families I put in, which we'll cover maybe in the next video, uh, nested families, they're often generic models. Okay, so it's kind of just it's a good place to start, and then you can recategorize. Okay, and I'll show you how to do that uh, up here. So we had the family types button here in the ribbon. Just above that is family category and parameters. Okay, so click into that, and you see where it's selected uh, generic models. We're just going to change that to furniture. Okay, and that's it. Uh, okay, so now it's a, a furniture family. Okay, but we're still doing generic model videos. Okay. <laughs> Uh, all right, next thing I'm going to do is I want to create that that void sweep around the edge, give that routered appearance. So we're going to create another uh, another profile. Okay, so file, new, family, metric profile. All right, over here. Open. Now again, this is just a 2D shape. It has to be a closed loop, don't forget, in order for it to be a, pro a profile. Uh, so we're going to do this against the table edge. So we have to be kind of one side of the vertical. Uh, let's say, put it over here. And it's a void, so it's like the opposite to a shape. So if I just draw a shape here, right? If we want to there, if you imagine we're looking at a section on our table edge, we want our table edge to look something like, uh, let's say, Uh, that okay so in a void sweep we have to do that the opposite way around okay because that's for cutting that out okay so actually do you know what i'm just going to use that no no i'll start again so, so you can follow okay but i'm going to do it that way because it's easier to follow actually okay so but i'm going to measure it uh, and then i'll move it up to the reference planes so create line okay so uh start with the the, the bottom of the table i'm going to be deleting this line anyway so it doesn't matter what that is. I'm going to take it in two millimeters. Okay, I'm going to uh, go up five across five, let's say, up two. 
and in. Okay, now I'm going to go to my start end radius arc and go from here to here and make that arc. Okay, and just delete those lines. Now, so my void then will be if I use my trim to corners, will be the opposite, it'll be that. Do you understand that? So that's the shape you want to cut out. No, it's not actually. Uh, Yes, it is actually. So trim that to here, here to here. Just so gonna grab all that and throw it up to the reference plane intersection. Again, I don't think I grabbed that at the corner. Yeah. Okay, remember so where the reference planes intersect, that's your insertion point, okay? Now I can align and lock that. I'm not gonna bother actually with uh giving this parameters. You could, okay, and maybe you want to, but I'm not gonna do it. Okay, I'm going to, and again, I'm not going to save this. You should be saving your families for use in a later project. I'm just going to load this one in. This one's family one. Select the coffee table. And no. Now, I would do this again by the same method with the void sweep, but using the, the uh, pick edges. But I want to do it the other way so you can get exposure to both. Okay, so if I go into the reference level, uh, do you remember we saved... I'll show you again. We saved that top of table. We give it a name. So we call it top tabletop. Okay. Uh, back into the reference level. If I go to create tab, void forms, void sweep. Okay. Now I'm going to set the reference plane because I want to set it on top of the table. Okay. So set it and pick from named uh, level tabletop. Okay. So now we're working on that reference plane. Okay. Now going to go back to modify sweep and sketch path okay this time we're doing sketch path i'm going to pick lines make sure lock is ticked then it's going to pick the outside reference planes okay they're all locked okay because i have the lock ticked then trim to corners trim 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 true okay and that's our our got it our, our profile there well, we haven't actually assigned a profile but that's where it is okay so we can go into 3D and look at that. Now, if you want to, while you're in the sketch path, you can move the profile onto a different line if there's a reason to do that. Yeah, but uh, I'm just going to leave where it is. So we're good there. OK. Modify sweep. Uh, select profile. We're going to select that one, family one, which you have saved as something, as something else, I hope. And uh, zoom in there to make sure it's the right way around. It is. OK. And yes. And while it's still selected, cut. All right. So you see the effect we did there. Okay. That's pretty nice, I think. Okay. Now, for the sake of it, now, again, the, the purpose of this video isn't really to show you how to make a coffee table. Okay. It's to show you the individual skills and, and how we make things. Uh, so I'm going to do some things that we don't necessarily need to do. Right. So I'm going to decide that this table needs to have a minimum thickness. Okay. Because if you think about it, that glass panel, We've calculated that to be half the depth, uh, the thickness of the table. So you, you might decide that the glass uh, should have a minimum thickness. I don't know, let's say it's six mil or something, six millimeters. So therefore, the table should have a minimum thickness. If it's twice that, it should be a uh, minimum thickness of 12 millimeters. And that's what we're going to do, okay? So if you go into our, uh, our elevation where we had that parameter, top thickness, I'm going to change that, okay? So I'm going to keep the parameter, but I'm not going to assign it here. I'm going to change this to something uh, something else, okay? So while it's selected, I'm going to create a new parameter, and I'm going to give it just a, like a, an acronym so that it doesn't make sense to anybody except you, the person who's making it, okay? So it's T top thickness reference, TTR, okay? Okay. So now that dimension is controlled by TTR, not top thickness. Do you understand? Right. But if I go into my family types so i have my ttr right and i have my top thickness so i want it so that the user controls top thickness so they enter a value here say change that to 20 uh, and nothing happens because it's no longer controlling the uh, if i press apply it's no longer controlling the uh, the parameter okay the, the thickness of the table but ttr is so what i want is for ttr to be connected to top thickness so ttr I'm going to say, I wanted to say if if it's uh, it should be it should be equal to top thickness unless top thickness is less than twelve, and then if it is, 
uh, just make it 12. So you're, you're putting a fail safe in so that the user can't make it less than 12. Okay, so we have our equals. Uh, it's if open bracket, if uh, top thickness, again, this is case sensitive, you have to get it right, uh, is less than 12, comma, 12, comma, top thickness. Okay, so if you've used the formulas in Microsoft Excel, you'll get this. And they're not exactly the same, by the way, uh, but a lot, a lot of the formulas are. So if, open brackets, top thickness, so if this uh, parameter is less than 12, okay, then, comma, then make it 12. Okay, so if I put in 3 over here, it'll override that and make it 12. But if top thickness is, otherwise, so top thickness is 12 or greater, uh, make the value top thickness. I hope that makes sense. And we'll, we'll stretch that out to show you. Okay, so you see TTR just changed to 20, which is top thickness. Okay, see it there? I'll show you on the screen. Okay. Now, if we if we change that, let's say, to top thickness, thickness to 15, TTR changes to 15, okay? And this is being controlled by TTR. So if we change this to 10, top thickness to 10, look, it changes TTR to 12 because it won't let it go below 12, okay? Because we've decided that. All right, so that will be useful for you if you haven't already uh, encountered that sort of thing. That will be a very useful skill. Be able to control uh, your families with a kind of a fail-safe, uh, dummy-proof sort of um, scenarios like that. Okay, I'm going to leave it there for this video, and we'll pick it up in the next, where I think maybe we'll finish it out. Uh, do you know what we're going to do, actually, in the next video? I'm going to, I'm going to introduce nested families. So I'm going to delete these legs. I'm going to create legs in uh, another family and load it in and use them as nested, um, uh, as a nested family and put them in. Okay. All right. Listen. Appreciate it. Yeah. The the, the watching, thumbs up, guys. Helps the the channel out. And if you haven't already subscribed, guys, please do. All right. Click the button. All right. Next time.